so today is a day 10 and we are on tonight basically just to talk about facial steaming i think we need an entire night to address facial steaming so if you are new here and you actually know nothing about steaming your face tonight is the night for you if you're an oldies but goodies you know exactly what we're going to be talking about tonight I am extremely tired tonight, and I'm definitely gonna get my face steaming to wake it up a bit. Welcome to 25 Day Skincare Challenge, day 10. How many of you have been religiously taking care of your skin in the 10 days? Even if you are not doing everything that is on the printout, but you are doing something to your face for the 10 days, I would like you all to comment. Let me hear from you how it has been going so far. By now, people should start seeing some form of a result. You should start to notice a difference to your skin. It might not be like significant, but it should be something. Something, something about your skin should be a bit different. So to light up the chat tonight, let me hear you start comment. And I want to ask all of you that are watching, whether you are following, to, following the tips to a T, are you just using this time to take care of your skin? Do you notice any difference to the skin? And if you do, just comment, yes, I notice my face is a little lighter. Yes, I notice my wrinkles are diminishing and so on and so forth. So that's what I want you all to comment. And while you're at it, if you're just joining and you totally forget to give us a thumbs up, we have 50 people who have joined so far. I would like all 50 of you to make sure to give the video a thumbs up. That is how you support the channel. So thumbs the video up, not under the top, but on the, you know, under the bottom of the video where there's one thing up and one thing down. Just click on the one up. That is how you thumbs up the video. And if you are new to steaming, you are going to learn a lot tonight because we're going to share some tips and how to steam your face. Now, if you have a facial steamer, and I know some of you have your facial steamer, you can actually get it out. And if you don't have a facial steamer, you're not going to be left out tonight because we're going to teach you how you can also steam your face without using a facial steamer. Welcome to our live. We have Jason, we have Jill, we have... um. Magdalene, I'm just winging it, you know, uh, without even looking on. See, I don't even see. Oh, oh welcome to membership, Otega. And membership, you get to have a little say in what goes on on the channel. So let's we take also while you're typing what's going on on your skin. Let's take the time to welcome Otega to membership. So Jason is here. Margaret is here. Hi, Maya. How are you? Welcome to our live. We have Karen Modisil, a regular on the chat. We also have Shireen Razi. Um, Shireen, you have a question for me? Go ahead and um, comment. And Loretta, um, you were here. Julie is here. Um, Kay Rene is here. And um, um, Jill, I already, Cecilia is here. Janice Aris. I think I've seen your name before, but you um I've seen you on the chat before, so you're not new. Welcome to our live. Tell us how long you've been watching us. Janice, we also have Erica Bailey, now a regular on the chat. And who else is here? Norma Reed. And we have uh, Masangi, M-A-S-A-N-G-E, Gladys Zimmerman. Welcome to the live chat. All right, guys, Charmaine Bailey, how are you doing tonight? If you're just joining, just click on the thumbs up button, show some love to the channel, support our channel by giving you us a thumbs up. That all we, that is all we ask of you to be a part of our 25 day skincare challenge. It actually very much free, except we ask you for the little thumbs up. So steaming the face is what we're going to do tonight. So if you are new to steaming, pay attention now why do we steam the face or why is steaming important to our skincare routine steaming help to clear the skin up when you steam the face and you go ahead and you use your natural remedies or your store-bought remedies it allows the products to work better on the skin not only that when you steam your face it have to get rid of bacteria 
on the skin bacteria grease dirt how many of you are watching have acne and i know some people think that is only teenagers that have acne but no we also have adults with acne blackhead is the main culprit when you get to a certain age if you find that you are having blackheads and whitehead those that when you squeeze your nose like this and i like to do mine and i could do mine on camera you just squeeze i don't have those to be honest I could I could squeeze from now until tomorrow. You're not gonna see that whitehead um, popping up, and that is because I steam and I exfoliate my skin. Okay, I steam and I exfoliate. They goes hand in hand. You can choose to steam and then you exfoliate, or you can choose to exfoliate and you steam and then you exfoliate again. That is what the steaming does. It clear the skin of all those imperfections. How many are you struggling with large pores? By large pores, we mean when you look directly on the skin, you can see all those fine holes going on on the skin. That is what we normally consider large pores. For some people, it's minor, while some people, it is severe. If you're struggling with any of those skin issues, steaming is for you. So if you have any question about steaming, or if you have a tip or two, go ahead and comment. Now, Jason, my face, and let me put Jason comment on the screen. I think I click on the wrong one. My face is fresher, smoother, but the most important is that I take more time focusing on myself because unconsciously, I know most of you are taking part um, of this channel and it is encouraging me. And that is the goal, guys. That is the goal. When you, um, when I come on here and I encourage you guys to take care of your face, the honest truth is it's not only the face, but once you start to take care of your face, it encourages you, it motivates you to take care of the rest of your body. You will notice that your face starts to look nice and then guess what you want to do? You want to make sure to flush the system out. You also want to make sure that your clothes looking right, your hair looking right and it's just a, a, a domino effect that is going on. So come on over here and start somewhere. Thank you Victoria for contributing 10 pound to our channel. If you want to contribute something to the channel you click on that dollar sign at the bottom that's how you contribute we don't force people to contribute it's up to you and you can contribute any amount 50 cent dollar you name it all right so thank you so much victoria so that is what we do over here we encourage you to take care of you 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 someone came on the live for those of you who miss our live with our panel and it actually brought tears to my eyes because the person was saying taking care of the skin, just taking care of her skin has actually caused her to take care of herself on a whole. And, and it is so true. Just do something for you. Most of the time, we do nothing for ourselves. How many of you watching have children and most of your focus is just making sure that the kids are okay? How many of you have an hectic job that sometimes when you get home, you just want to just, just get your shoes off and just lay back? No time for you. Well, it's time you start to do something for yourself and you do something basic as cleansing your face at night. Sometimes uh, you might be like, oh yeah, people have to wash their face. Not everyone do. Some people are so tired, they just jump in the shower, they just take a bath and they're out. But spend that extra 10 minutes to do you, okay? Take the extra 10 minutes to do you. It makes a huge difference and it also helps to boost your self-esteem. So if you're on here tonight, not only for the skincare, but also, um, so Jill is saying she have the white pimple, which is the issue. So the steaming is gonna help, to help tremendously. Veronica, true indeed, never took the time for myself before. Thank you for that. Julie Ali, I start taking care of my face and my entire body are also in a diet. I'm losing weight, I feel so good, I'm proud of myself and I encourage others and that is what we wanna hear. If you're on here and just by taking care of your skin, it has actually helped you to take care of your yourself and a whole, go ahead and comment, comment. We need to hear from you. Now, if you're just joining, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That's all we ask you to do to contribute to our live chat. And don't be afraid to invite others over to be a part of our 25 days challenge. It is day 10. 
day 10 tonight and i'm just on here just to show you how to get into steaming because steaming is vital for this 25 day skincare challenge now let me hear from you all how many of you have actually steamed your face before so far we are now on my end i could see 74 people watching already and all of you, I want you all to comment right now. All 74 of you, just look where this, it said post a comment and just type yes or no. How many of you have actually tried steaming your face before? I just want to have an idea. Now, let me see you all. This is how you take part in it. Don't just watch, just comment. All we're asking you to do is write one word, a yes or a no. Y-E-S, yes, N-O, no, for those of you who have... A different language that you speak let me see how many of you have actually tried steaming your face or have actually steamed your face before start commenting the chat should be moving faster than this so we have a few people so far i'm seeing a yes a yes a yes let me see if there's any no that i am seeing i um, someone used to and that is root we're gonna get you back rosie have i'm um kimberly i've never happened yet well, tonight you are going to learn how to steam your face. Let's see who else is coming. Don't be ashamed. If you have not steamed your face before, it's okay. There are millions of people out there who have never, ever tried steaming the face. And also, some people think that steaming the face is exclusive to a different, you know, a few set of people or a handful of people. But no, we're going to show you how you can steam your face in the comfort of your home. Now, Carol Stratford, I did until my daughter came and took my steamer <laughs> i was pretty upset with her what happened to your steamer carol oh my goodness and charmaine haven't done it for a while julia saw my sister today and her face is it looks so much better i also asked what she's doing she said that you teach her how to start taking care so i'm doing it um, so I'm doing it that why my face is looking a different and that is the, the goal that is the goal for people to start seeing that things are you know looking up shakilia Pasad, welcome to live chat and we also have jilal Pama. never had you you're gonna know how to do it tonight so how many of you have and take a listen carefully what i right now are you on the so this question i want to all to answer i don't know i think i think it's freezing but i'm going to continue talking how many of you have a at home? Maybe I should. Some form of eat source in your mouth and. Uh,
Okay, guys, I have no idea what happened, but my system just went cold turkey and the computer actually shut down. I was going to go on my laptop, but it's back up and running. So where were we? Um, I don't know how to, to, to thumbs up our live. I do it on the main page. I never seen any thumbs live before. All right. So some people were saying that they don't know. I've never, I have normal, I have severe acne problem and I have large pores. Very embarrassing. Will definitely be taking better care. So Norma, you are going to make steaming your face, your best friend. If you steam your face and steaming your face should be at least two to three times per week when you're just started out after that you can actually switch to steaming your face once per week on this live we're asking you to steam at least two to three times per week for best result all right guys so um um, Michelle, guess I'll go ahead and eat and come back later. I hope you're still here, Michelle, because we're back up. Um, she seems to be having an issue. Yes, the computer just actually just froze, turned itself off, but now we are back on. So if you're on and you're hearing me, let me see you give me a thumbs up. So what I was asking before we have that little interruption is, do you have a, spa, a pot at home, a saucepan that you can boil water in? that's all i'm at and we want all of you um to comment right now if you have a stove we have oh guys we have crazy thunderstorm outside maybe that's why i had this issue just now i just realized that it's pouring outside with thunder all right so do you have a pot at home where you could boil some water if you do you can steam your face that's all i'm getting at so there should be no reason why you don't steam your face all right so and if you have a steamer it makes it even better also do you have a kettle one of those um kettle that you put on the stove top that when you start to, to to use it and make that whistling sound they call those a tea kettle if you have one of those you can actually steam your face so let me show you what i'm talking about here we have um those are tea kettle te kettles if you have one of those you can actually steam your face as a matter of fact i personally find that steam in my face with the kettle work out even better than my facial steamer. So you have a pot at home, you have a kettle, you can steam your face. Here is the next thing. If you have hot water in your shower, you can steam your face. If you have a wash rug, you can steam your face. Now you might be wondering, how am I gonna steam my face with a wash rug? Remember that pot I was asking you if you all have? If you have that and you warm that water, you dip that wash rag in it, make sure you could touch it, squeeze it out a little, place it over your face, let it sit on your face for about three minutes. If it's got a little cold, you dip it back in the hot water. That is how you steam your face. And if you are like a handful, just a few people that have a sauna at home or access to a sauna, then you can steam your face. Pretty, pretty easy to steam the face. So there should be no excuse. Now, Jackie, I do have the wash rag too. And Gladys, no, not now. Don't know what you don't have. And Erica have a steamer. And Tanjali have a steamer and Georgia. Yes, that's what I use my good old pot. Now let's do a little history on facial steaming. For those of you who are new to facial steaming, it goes way back, like way back, okay? I'm telling you guys, it's pouring. It's really pouring outside, okay? All right, so if you know know anything about facial steaming, um, way back, centuries ago, women especially normally steam the face. Now, in those days, they didn't have the fancy facial steamer that they have now. What they had was the good 
whole pot okay the good whole pot at home so what they do they put that pot on the fire and guess what that those days they didn't even have those fancy stove that we have right now okay however they find a way to put that pot whether they're hanging it over some you know wood fire or something but they do that and once that was done the water started to boil that is what they use to put their face over and fan after years of doing that they discovered that if they put a towel over it the steam will more concentrate on the face so back then people were steaming their face with the towel that is the old method and guess what that method still works today and that's why when we came on we asked about the pot if you have a pot and you have access to fire whether it's wood burning fire um cursing oil stove whether it's charcoal whether it is gas stove whether it is electric stove if you have some form of a heat source you can steam your face so any question for me and we're gonna move on i'm gonna read some of your comment while i'm doing that so a pot and a towel is the basic way to steam the face not going anywhere and it will always happen okay I'm just um, trying to, um, someone was saying that they don't know how to, um, um, all right, so this is the, the exact here I was looking for. Facial steaming in modern history can trace all the way back to the early 90s when a woman named Jeanette Scully developed the first tabletop facial steamer. Now they're talking about the modern facial steamer like what we have here. Steaming is a way to relax and cleanse the body and goes back as far as the ancient Greek and Roman times. So guys, it's have been around for a long, long, long time. And it's for a reason. Women always try to find a way to look good. It get the bacteria from the skin. It get the grease, the whitehead, the blackhead. Get rid of the acne from the skin. Charmaine, I am trying to buy one, but when I use your link, it says not available. That means that one is sold out. So I am going to refresh the link. And also you can check my Amazon storefront. If I'm freezing up a bit, guys, it's because it's really pouring cats and dog outside. I just noticed it went um, a little. But definitely, you can get. I'll upgrade the link. And guess what? If you stick around, <laughs> you might be lucky to get one in our um, end of year giveaway. I actually gave away, not to be showing off myself, I gave away at least 30 or more of those facial steamer. And that's why I know a lot of you have your facial steamer. But next to the pot with the towel is the kettle when you put that kettle on the stove top and it start to boil the whistling kettle to be exact and it start to boil and sending out that steam don't go too close you step back and you just roll your head just like the facial steamer as a matter of fact i think the facial steamer was made from you know using the kettle as an example so you can steam your face with the kettle tonight i have my steamer here and i'm actually going to show you all how to use the steamer when you think about the steamer and this is the part that the steam comes out when you think about your kettle at home you have this little area also where the steam come out anything that you can boil up and get some steam on you can use that to steam the face now last year many millions of people were steaming the face and guess why they were steaming the face millions of people were steaming last year coming on to this year because of covid and um you know it is said that if you steam your face more so your nostril it will kill all the bacteria that goes in it and that will help you not prevent help you not to catch a cold or also you know make your likelihood of catching the big old covid um less because you're cleaning the nostril so when you steam your face guys it's a double warmy for you okay a double warmy some of you have like those stuffy nose all the time some of you you know have the 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 cold season is coming up you get all of that so steaming the face is also helping to clear the nostril and you someone was asking do you put anything in the steamer some people put a little bit of essential oil i personally like to steam with 
basically nothing. But if you're like someone who have like, you know, your little stuffy nose, you probably could have a little, especially if you're using the pot, they say it's not recommended for the regular steamer, but you're using the pot, you can put little eucalyptus or something to give you that, you know, clearing the nostrils so double warm it for you if you steam we're going to take some questions and then i'm going to go uh continue to talk more about uh, steaming the face and also to show you how to steam now female i just start steaming my face but not sure how long i should steam it for and was wondering then i saw your videos today so no more than about three minutes and you're gonna know if you have one of these facial steamer it's going to cut off on your run about the three minute mark. Okay. And that is how, you know, you go no more than about a three minutes team in the face. All right. So that's a very, very, very good question. Joy, I do not have a steamer, but I prefer to use a pot. And that's why I talk about the pot and I talk about the kettle. I have a facial steamer and I prefer to use my kettle. Okay. So don't feel like, Oh, I don't have a steamer. Uh-uh, you're missing nothing out. And you're going to see when I use my steamer, you're not missing anything. This is just a little fancy thing. I find the kettle work better, and I find that I feel better when I use my kettle. So use your kettle, use your, your steamer. If you have it, so you buy it anyway, and definitely use your pot. Jamaican talk. <laughs> All right, so um, um, let's see who else is here. Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Hi guys, let's welcome back Cynthia. I was talking about you the other day, Cynthia. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't see Cynthia on the chat for a while, but I'm like, I guess she's very busy working. So I'm actually happy to see you back on the live tonight, Cynthia. Welcome back. And I know you're a busy person, but you know, some of you that is normally here all the time, I know when you are missing. Now, Key Washington has been missing, and she was like a die-hearted, faithful subscriber who's always, always, always on. So we got in touch with Key Washington today, only to get a lot of bad news, like a lot of, you know, a lot of bad things, death in her family and stuff like that. So we just want to give her a shout out and tell her to hang in there, just hang in there, and, you know, we have your back over here. Hi, Claudia. Good night. Welcome to the live chat. And um, Jolly, first time using the steamer. Um, Lisette Chambers, hello from um, Lisette. And then we have um, Cha Na, C H A N A E, first time I'm seeing. Okay, you're new here, I could tell. I was just going to say, first time I'm seeing you. Welcome to our 25 day skincare challenge. Now, let's talk. A, let me take a few more questions. I like to do the shout out because I like to acknowledge people. I like you to know that we know you are here with us and you are watching. Watching, sharing, what can I use to exfoliate? Pretty easy. You can use coffee, you can use rice, you can use brown sugar, you can use white sugar. There's so many things that you can use to exfoliate and we have a wide variety. You know something guys, and this is true. I noticed that when I make videos for facial mask, you all love to watch those. When I make videos for like, you know, the facial moisturizer, the facial serum and then oh, the night oil and stuff like that, you all like to watch those. But when I make videos, for exfoliator facial scrub you guys don't watch it and i'm always wondering why because i love me a good scrub and i want you all to get or maybe because the scrub is so easy to make because it really is easy if you have some sugar with a white or brown sugar you can make a scrub all you need is some oil think about it you have some brown sugar you add some soya bean oil to that and you add a little lemon zest and you have an amazing facial scrub. Very easy to make. That's why you guys don't watch those videos when I post them. So there I just gave you a recipe. You can use olive oil and brown sugar. You can blend some rice and not to a powder, but to a fine granule. And you, where the rice is concerned, you add some rose water to it. You can add a little bit of a green tea and that make it so nice. And you just use that to exfoliate your face, your neck and your decollete. I am addicted to exfoliating and that is the truth. Not only my face, but my entire body. I love a good scrub. I love a good scrub. Now, when you exfoliate the face, you are getting rid of the dead skin cells. So why we are talking about exfoliating is because steaming the face 
and exfoliating the face goes on and on. On this challenge, I am going to challenge you all, whether you have a facial steamer, whether you have a pot, whether you have the hot towel or a kettle to start steaming your face. And guess what? At the end of the 25 days, I want you all to come back and comment. It makes a big difference. Now, if you don't have the time, and we're on day 10 today. If you don't have the time, get find the time at least once per week over the weekend to steam your face. So the big question is, when should you steam the face? You should steam your face when you have the time. You should steam your face when you have the time, that three minutes. Most people steam in the evening, but you choose. You're home in the middle of the day. You want to steam your face? Steam your face. How often should you steam your face? Two to three times per week. At least twice per week is best. So you can steam your face on Monday, and you can steam your face on Thursday somewhere there, okay? Just, you know, space it out. That is going to have tremendously. Now, why are we steaming again? We're steaming the face to open the pores. We're steaming the face to get rid of bacteria on the skin. We're steaming the face to allow our facial scrub to work better when we're exfoliating. Now, how many of you have watching here have ever been to the spa for a facial? If you have been to a spa for a facial, let me hear from you comment. Any one of you, it's okay. It's all right to share with us. If you have been to a spa before for a facial, comment, comment, comment. I want to hear from you all. And the next question is, if you have been to the spa for a facial and you get a facial steam, I also want you to comment. Now, um, Juliana, I have started seeing a difference. Now, Maya, you have been to the spa for a facial let me hear from you did they exfoliate your face and did they steam your face very very vital there's hardly anywhere you're gonna go to get a facial and they don't do that now if you go to a spa to get your facial done guys one of my dream is to open my own spa so i'm throwing it out there in the universe and i have had that dream it way before i start youtube believe it or not way before i start sharing my beauty tips and remedies with you my dream is to have my own day spa. All right. So now, you know, hopefully we'll get it up and running soon and you all could come and get a free facial. All right. So we are moving on. I'm just laughing at that because um, someone was giving me a joke recently where, um, you know, um, like in the city, like here in New York City, before COVID, of course, they normally on the street side, street food, that is where they get those peanuts and they do peanut cashew and coconut. And they have this um, thing that they roasted in. I'm trying to remember if they put oil. No, they put sugar on it, but they roast it and it made the city smell good when you walk around. So a friend of mine was telling me that when they were growing up, they have this friend and the, the uncle have one of those stands so the uncle was like you know get to a stage where he didn't need the stand anymore and he actually gave his, the stand to his nephew so every time the school kids coming home which is the nephew friend he would be giving them the peanuts before you know it the stand was closed because he was giving away all the peanut thinking that oh you just give my friend a little give my friend a little so i'm just laughing at that where i said you know you all could come and get a free facial maybe some special people free facial but definitely a good discount all right so we're back to talking about you know steaming the face one of my favorite thing to do maya years ago exfoliate steam and mask okay so thank you let me put it on the screen maya this is the reason why i was asking maya did a facial and on doing her facial they exfoliate her face then they steam and then they mask okay now what most spa are doing these days they are exfoliating while they are steaming some spa is going to exfoliate while they're steaming while some is going to exfoliate steam and exfoliate again okay so they all do different things but one thing for sure is that they're going to exfoliate um along with the steaming base base so when you're at home so this is where i go back for the weekend when i tell you that if it's even on the weekend you give yourself a facial steam because that is the time you're going to choose to give yourself a facial okay so facial steaming is vital 
for your skin at least once per week. For our challenge, we'd like you to do it two to three times. The first challenge that we have, we're steaming our face every day for the first week, okay? But this time now, we're trying to skip it and jump it to three times because people have, you know, busy schedules. So, uh, Veronica, I went to the spa last year, my anniversary gift from my husband. That's actually a very, very good gift to give. I like to give a spa date or a spa treatment for, for gift giving. I really love to do that. Don't ask me why, but I really think that it's a good gift and I don't mind receiving that also. Now, Pat, what is the correct way to steam and exfoliate or exfoliate and steam? So that is what we were just talking about. What do you do? Do you steam first, exfoliate, and there are steam and then exfoliate or exfoliate while you're steaming. Now listen carefully, and this is the correct way. You should steam your face first. Bear with me. You should steam your face first. The reason why you should steam first is because when you steam, it opens the pores. When the pores are open, the grease and the dirt that is stuck in the pores you when you start to exfoliate it get it out faster so that is why you steam and then you exfoliate the steaming is gonna lift the dead skin cells it's gonna you know um dilute the oils on the face and then when you go in with the exfoliator it's gonna clear everything out so that is the reason some spa will steam then they exfoliate and some will steam again to clear things up now, you have some people that like to exfoliate while they're steaming. I'm 100% for that also. So you turn that steamer on, you have that scrub, you exfoliate, and the steam is eating. And that is maybe one of the best way, okay, to steam and exfoliate at the same time. Now, you can also choose to steam without exfoliating. When you steam without exfoliating is when you exfoliate a lot. So let's say the first Monday, you steam and you exfoliate, and you want to steam your face again let's say wednesday you don't necessarily have to exfoliate on wednesday what you could do is steam and then you wash your face okay so definitely steam exfoliate or exfoliate while you are steaming is the correct way for the facial steam no more than three minutes all right so um let me see. Um, Brooklyn, New York, Chichi, will steam help with acne scar? Let me put this one on the chat because this is um really, really a very good question. Now, acne scars, large pores, oily skin, steaming should be your best friend. Someone was, I was reading an article recently and someone was like, oh, you shouldn't steam if you have acne. Now, when you have acne, do you know what that is? That is bacteria farm in your pores. Finger touching, grease and dirt, lodging the pore, those all the sebum that your skin produces, the excess, lodging that pore, and because there's bacteria in it, it creates acne. When you steam your face, it kills the bacteria on the skin. And just like when you steam and you steam that nose that we were doing last year, that kills the bacteria. So definitely, if you have acne skin, steaming should be your best friend and it will have to dry those acne up. The trick is don't over steam, nor do you go right up under the steam and let that eat irritate your skin you do not want to irritate your skin okay you steam and you get a gentle exfoliator now if you have acne and you can't find anything that is gentle enough to exfoliate when you steam in guess what you turn to my very favorite and my very special cloth which is a wash rod this is tissue guys but just an example if you have acne and you are it's so bad that you're scared to exfoliate your skin you get your wash rod and you put that steamer on or if you you know over the stove whatever you're using and you slowly use that wash rod so as not to irritate the skin if you know anybody with acne suggest this to them and let them try it for a week within a week that person is going to notice a significant difference to the skin also you can tip a little bit of that tea tree oil in that steamer or the uh, pot i don't recommend too much oil in the steamer most brands said no oils in it some people still go ahead and do it and let that eat the face pot dry and use your regular skincare or your regular acne products is going to help tremendously i did 
Chichi, it's a very hot washcloth laid on your face enough for steaming. Yes, we recommend that on this channel. Now, if you're going to use the washcloth, wash rod, depending on where you live, method, when you dip this in the hot water, always test it, okay? Test it because you don't want to burn your skin. So you test it. And once you could tolerate it, you place it over the face. This is the trick. When you place it over your face like this, you're going to use your hands, okay? When you place it over your face, you use your hands and you press it on the skin. I'm sweating, so this is going to help me a lot. You press it on the skin. As soon as it gets too comfortable, you take it off and you wet it again and you press it over the skin. When you do that, do it for about three minutes or so, then you go ahead and you exfoliate the skin. That is how you use the wash rod. And the wash rod, you have hot water in your shower, you are short on time, use the wash rod method. You have no form of a facial steamer, but you wanna use it. Get in the shower, put that hot water in, use the bottom pipe, wet up that wash rod, test it, put it over your face. As a matter of fact, if you have hot water in your shower, when you test it on your hands, when you put the shower, you, it's comfortable enough, let it eat your face. Let it eat your face when you're exfoliating in the shower. Personally, for me, I like to exfoliate in the shower because whatever is coming off, you just put the water on and you wash it off. So if you have hot water when you're exfoliating, that is a double whammy. Thank you, Magdalene, for contributing to our channel, our super sticker. So you have no reason not to exfoliate and steam the face. Easy peasy. I'm challenging you all to try to exfoliate and steam, but more so, I'm challenging you to steam. So I'm going to put my steamer on right now, and I'm going to do a live demonstration for you with my facial steamer. Now, imagine that this is your kettle. It's going to be on the stovetop. Or if you have your hot pot of water, it's the same process the same process and just look how i'm gonna you know work my head around now all of you watching if you have not yet come to video hub all we ask this tip this beauty secret beauty tips that we're sharing on this 25 day skincare challenge is pretty much free however one thing we ask of you is to just give our video a thumbs up when you join and also share it on your social media platform renee um good night i'm from trinidad never have i done a steam on my face well you're gonna start to steam renee because the steaming is gonna help to transform your skin steaming and massaging should take your skin to the next level now my steamer is on and i don't know how much of a steam you guys could see and it's full now look at that little bit of a steam that is coming out of this okay so that is it that's all there is the steam and that's the same effect you get from the kettle i hope you all are seeing the steam and this is the same effect that you also get when you are you know steaming over let me try to let you see the steam see the steam coming out now i'm wasting time because this cut off in three minutes now to steam the face and i'm gonna hold it let me take um let me take off um brooklyn new york off the off the board and let um, i i'm still trying to master how to get this off totally to like totally um let's see okay there it is good so now you see my steamer and quick question you should cleanse your face before you steam, meaning wash your face before you steam. Some people feel like they shouldn't, but I suggest you wash, especially if you wear makeup. Get rid of that makeup off your face. So now I have my steam, and I really want you guys to see it, so I'm going to turn a sideway. Now the steam is eating. I'm, I'm not putting it up here in my face like that. No, this is how far I am. Just enough for the steam to eat my face. So now the steam is eating my face. And what I do normally is on a stand, but because I want you all to see, let's see if I could put it up on my, um, all right, so good. This is the steam and it's coming out. So I just go in front of it and I just rotate my head. Ooh, see how far I am? This is here, this is here. So this is about 12 inches, about 15 inches or so away from the steamer. Now, when you're doing it with your kettle, it's about that also. For the hover the pot, don't even go that close because you're getting more steam coming out. And now I am sweating up a storm. So steam in the face, three minutes, uh, circulating, rotating, I mean. 
Someone we were talking last night about when you steam the eye area, I close my eyes, okay? I close my eyes and I just rotate. I don't focus the steam on my eyes like I'm showing you here. I don't normally do that. You can, but make sure you're not uh, too close. So you just steam the face. Mm, and it feels good. Now, if you were exfoliating you would now have while you're steaming you would have your scrub and you would be like put it over a little closer like this who's hot guys and you would be exfoliating if you're exfoliating while you are steaming the face so go ahead and steam and exfoliate are you steam first and then you exfoliate oh this feels so good guys i know some of you are jealous it feels Good. Oh my goodness. Now, someone asked recently about steaming the neck. I don't remember who it was. Like, can you, how do you steam the neck? If you're using the steamer, pick it up and put it there. Only the steamer. If you are using the kettle, do not pick it up. Stand up, go over, and let that steam it the neck area. Play with it like I am doing, okay? Because you want to get it, but the other hand you can do it. Your pot of water, when you cover with the towel, is also going to eat your neck. So you don't have to, you know, do anything special for steaming your neck. It's going to hit your neck on the decollete. The facial steamer like this one can also go as low as this, and it is eating my neck under my jaw, my chin area right here is eating it. And oh, I feel like I'm in a sauna right now. You could see it on my face. Guys, this feels good. So you steam for about three minutes or so, and then you exfoliate or while you are steaming, if you have a stan or a steamer, then you just exfoliate at the same time. I am just steaming right now because I didn't bring my exfoliator, but right after you expo you steam, you exfoliate. And, oh, this is like, this is my steaming tonight, guys. So I'm making sure that I do a good job. Anybody is actually watching my face, the difference, just as I start to steam, you can tell how cool I look. That's what I like about the steaming. It gives you this nice, clean look, okay? So you're watching my face now. You could see the difference. I'm sweating up a storm, getting all that toxin out of my skin, and it feels really, really good. Don't know how long I'm running my steamer on my face right now, but that's about enough, and that's it. That is, this is going to cut off in about a couple of minutes, second from now, because this only go about three minutes, four minutes, the most when I totally load it up. So I'm going to just put it to the side right now. And what I would do now, next, someone want to know if after you steam, do you go straight ahead while your skin is still warm to exfoliate? Yes, you go straight ahead and you exfoliate and room temperature, okay? Room temperature. So you exfoliate with your exfoliator and then you rinse off or you exfoliate while you were steaming. And you should do this at least, oh guys, look at that. I feel like I was just at the spa, believe it or not. My skin feel like that, okay? And you can see I have a little flush right, oh, this side, a little flush right there. That is why you don't go too close. You kind of stay back. That it, if you don't want to be all flush all over when you're done, you want your skin to look dewy and nice. So when you go and you exfoliate and you rinse off, when you come out, honestly, most of you don't feel like you want anything to touch your face. That's how nice it feels, okay? It feels really, really, really good. And not only does it feel good, but your skin look healthy. You get that nice, clean, look at my face. You get that look that look so clean, so fresh. And not only that, guys, it actually help you to look younger, okay? And that's what the celebrities pay. Spa treatment is expensive, guys. Do you know you have some people that go to the spa for facial once per week? Yes, because they, they like the way it look and they, they like the way the skin look once they get that facial. Now, guys, this is steaming, but guess what we're going to introduce next week? We're going to introduce to you facial peel. Yes, and we're going to teach you how to do a homemade facial peel. Also, we're giving you the works. You can spend a Saturday with a few friends at home and you can do a complete things. A couple of years ago, I used to have some subscribers that get together and they do my recipes and, you know, really have the skin 
looking good. Now, someone want to know the brand esteemer. I actually do not recommend a special brand. Now, when I give gifts as Stima, I do a wide variety of brands. Buy the one you can afford. They're all good. Once you're going to let the steam out, buy the one. You can find a facial steamer for $100. You can find a facial steamer for $15. Don't tell anybody. The $15 one is going to work just as good as the $100 one. Okay? All you need is the steam. The steam. That's all you want, the steam. So, you know, guys, you get the drift of what I'm saying, all right? I'm going to put a few on the video when the chat is over that you can go and find some reasonable price one on Amazon. I'm not telling nobody, unless you have it like that and you want to bring it out and be like, oh, my facial steamer. I'm not that girl, guys. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl I like. Oh, my Gucci bag. Like, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. There's many things to do with my money. I'm not saying if you have it, you don't. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But the joy or the pleasure that I have for taking that, like, $100 and giving it to somebody and see that look like, oh, so thank you. May the good Lord bless you. is more rewarding to me. That's just how I am. But I'm just keeping it real. Even though I am like that, I like the best of the best. I like my face to look good. I like to steam. I like to exfoliate. I like to do the facial peel. And I like to feel like I'm really living without the pennies. Okay? All right. So just finish steaming. And Razid, any question, guys? If you're new to steaming and you have any question, comment, comment, comment. A good thing to apply on your skin after you finish steaming is some aloe vera gel. Whether it's fresh aloe vera gel or the store-bought, it's good to just put a little aloe vera gel on your face. If you have a question, if this is your first time seeing someone steaming and you have a question, you're new to it, you're not sure what to do, you want to learn, you want to get into steaming the face, let me hear you comment. Now, someone comment. That's from Renee. Um, how about age, dry, wrinkled skin? Is there a limit on steaming for such skin? As a matter of fact, age, dry, wrinkled skin is going to look plump, okay? It's going to look awake. It's going to look like steaming is not going to dry your face out if you do for three minutes. When you finish steaming your face and exfoliating, you're going to reach for your amazing anti-aging facial cream, facial serum, and facial toner, and you're going to put it right back. Your skin is going to look healthier. It's going to feel better. And guess what you're going to have to that? When you have that massage to it, challenge you challenge me by doing it for you and come back and share your comment when the 25 day skincare challenge is over as a matter of fact the very first time you do it you're gonna be so blown away that you're not even gonna wait for the 25 days to talk about it how many of you steam tonight if you're on and you were steaming while we were steaming let me hear from you do go ahead comment and tell us how your skin is feeling can i have essential oil as well yes you can however some of these steamers are gonna tell you not to add any oil to it but you can have the essential oil okay now sophia um how many times a day a week can i do the steaming two times to three times per week when you're just starting out you could steam three times per week and then you cut that down to one or two times for the week after that now we have um id um um try um um where is that terry um ter for later is a mix of ground all right so ter i think this is a, i don't know if this is a misspell or a different um ter for later is a mix of ground oat almond and coffee gong Coffee gone, coffee grind, maybe this is a language barrier I could tell. But definitely, um, she's giving you a recipe for exfoliating the skin. You have um oatmeal, halman, and ground coffee. That is gonna help with your steaming carlin i steam tonight and it feel good and add some mental as i was a bit stuffy and here is your comment guys this is what i'm telling you you need to steam she steam it feels good and she had a bit of a, a mental now we have charming Passad. yes Chichi, i just finished steaming veronica i did my steaming um tonight and after i put the honey mask on way to go and we have tari um steaming right Right now and um no um tangelal um what do you put on your face after steaming i just answered that you put your facial toner 
splash on that toner and then you do your serum and if you have the aloe vera gel or something like that or a good serum the homemade one that i have or your store bought then you go ahead and you put it on you once you steam and your skin is dry you just go ahead and do your regular skincare products on your skin now jason just finish and actually apply aloe vera gel to cool down the skin okay so that's why i suggest if you have the aloe vera gel you can actually apply it on the skin right after you steam juliana steaming is good i steam to not i steam this night rosy just finished apply aloe vera gel retinol cream and um, moisturizer to the skin and these are the people that are really getting into the steaming if you have not steamed before guys just challenge yourself do it at least once because once you do it you're not gonna want to stop and that is the truth once you start steaming you're not gonna want to stop i do know life happened and sometimes we're all into our skin and then another time we're like uh we just fall right off of the bandwagon but definitely get yourself into steaming steam exfoliate at least if you have no time find the time on the weekend all you need is 10 minutes three minutes for steaming and three minutes for exfoliating and you're good to go and cynthia is steaming right now karen i use aloe vera gel and rosie just finished and um who has um is here um karen i just didn't did it my face feel good and this is what i'm talking about guys your face is gonna feel good and it's also gonna look good for those of you who are and um, um marilyn barrett steaming really works okay yes it works veronica you are very humble Chichi. that's why everybody loves you thank you so much for that comment now tanji my face feel good taryn just finished steaming and um let me see who else is here um diana steaming and exfoliating works ladies yes listen to the panel guys steaming do work on the skin all right so um juliana did to me okay so um what oh someone wanted to know the brand i'm just scrolling back to see whatever comment that i missed now tonight is day 10 of our 25 day skincare challenge. I changed this season up a bit because I want you to learn more because some of you did the first one, you did the second one. I don't want it to get boring to you. And that's why we're spending the time to go further into more details along with the printout. Now, if you're just joining and you want to be a part of the 25 day skincare challenge, you still can. It's day 10, but you can join. We have 15 days more to go. Also, you can get a full printout from week one to week two and on the printout it tell you exactly what to do every day so you don't even have to think what do i do tonight you just look on the printout you watch the videos we're on monday wednesday and friday but sometimes we have a pop-up like tonight i want to talk about steaming so i just choose to drop in tonight we probably drop in another night when we're talking about facial peel but we're on until the 25 days is up which i don't even know the cut off but you can join get the printout follow you can start from day one or you can start from the day that we're on today is day 10 so send for the printout if you're new and if you're watching a lot of you watch and you don't you don't have to follow it to a t but start doing something to your skin okay start doing something and i suggest you start by exfoliating you get some scrub make some in your kitchen and you exfoliate your face because once you start as i said you're gonna want to keep going let me get some comment from you all and then we are gonna wrap this show up hi max i haven't seen you for a while well come back steaming improve my suppleness and i love doing it with tea tree oil for those of you with acne asking about essential oil tea tree oil is a good oil sandra welcome um Chuchi, i'm late watch later just got home and better late than never latania love steaming brooklyn i can't wait for the facial peel and we're gonna have some guests on for the facial peel i'm gonna make sure they have the remedy and then we're gonna and you're gonna see how it works tamara johnson welcome to our live show to rent cold cool water or does it make a difference very very good question let me get that um to rent cool water or does it make a difference now the reason why this is a good question if you exfoliate if you steam and you're not gonna exfoliate 
you can use the cool water. The reason why you're using cool water is because it's going to close back those pores, okay? It's going to close up the pores. So cool water or room temperature water is good. Or if you're all good, you do ice water. Don't let my granny hear I'm saying that because this would be a no for her. She would be like, nope. You're going to catch a cold. You just steam the face. No, no cold water. But nowadays, when you steam and you put that cold water, you give you that rosiness to the cheek. It closes back those pores. We know better to these days. That's why. But granny, you know, I love your advice. So I'm not saying you're little, you know, you're going to catch a cold. But yes, do some room temperature water or some cool water on the skin. And if you're all fun and games, splash on that ice water. It's going to take it to the next level. All right. Um, Ber Berna Williams, ailing out of Jamaica. Welcome to the live. And um, good night. Maria Joseph, welcome. And um, Diana, good night, everyone. Joy, Joy, how are you? Just finished steaming my hair also on my face. Feeling very rich. And that is the whole idea. When you do it, you feel like, oh my goodness, I'm now living life. And that is the honest truth. You do feel like life is just changing. And a simple thing as steam in the face, yes, could help, could motivate you, could help you to feel better about yourself. And that's what it is about. Now, um, Auntie, today is a pop-up pop -up show, not day 10. No, today is uh, on the printout is day 10. And it's also a pop-up show. Send for the printout. Or oh, Ibala. Um, I'm just joining from Nigeria. I love to have, I love, I will love to have the video. Thank you. You sent for the printout at Chichi Beauty. Let me put it on, on the chat. Who is um, watching from Portmore, Jamaica? I just saw that just went up right now. I used to live in Portmore for, for a short while. Um, where is, where is um, my thing is, all right, here it is. Um, Send for the printout at chichibeauty at gmail.com. If you want the printout that give you the day-to-day -day exactly what to do for your, to your skin, you can get it at chichibeauty.com or go on my website, chichibeauty.com for the printout is also there. And um, share the wealth, yes. Um, let's see who else is here. Um, Il Galore, steam, scrub, steam, and aloe. Yes, no. Steam, scrub, and aloe are steam and scrub are together and then aloe, okay? So I on my channel, I would like you all to steam first and then you exfoliate or to steam and exfoliate at the same time. When the steam is going, and I turn mine off, I think it's almost out of water. When the steaming is going, you steam by itself or you get the exfoliator and when the steam is going you exfoliate because you're trying to clean those pores out you're trying to get rid of all those whitehead in your nose okay you're trying to get rid of all that dead skin cells so you steam you exfoliate your rinse and then you could put the aloe aloe is optional okay you don't have to use the aloe but if you have the aloe you use it use a regular facial toner your green tea facial toner is good your aloe vera your um star anise whatever face your coffee to whatever toner you have go ahead and use it on the skin after you steam and then you go ahead and you use your regular skincare products on the skin if you're late you can watch over the video and before the 25 days challenge is over we'll talk a little bit more about steaming now tomorrow is our regular show for the 25 day skincare challenge if you want to be on the show on the live show send tonight to chichibeauty at gmail.com being on the live show you got to make sure you, you know that your face is going to be seen by a couple thousand of people okay so be prepared for that a couple thousand of people from all over the world is going to see your face but it's all fun and it's all game so if you want to be a part of the live show tomorrow send to chichibeauty at gmail dot com we will send you an email and tell you exactly what we're going to be doing doing some massaging tomorrow okay we're going to be massaging the face you don't want to miss that we're going to share a video we're going to have some panel massaging the face so definitely send to the chichi beauty we'll send the link tomorrow round about midday we're not going to send it before so you will have to check your email we're looking for some of you to come on show your face and do some facial massaging with us it's going to be a fun time it's easy we're going to show you what to do first and then we're all going to do it together so come prepare bring your facial oil tomorrow
tomorrow if you're coming to watch and that's what we're going to use are your facial serum or your facial moisturizer that's what we're going to use to massage the skin we're going to have a night of massaging and we want as many of you to be on the live so send for the link chichibuti at gmail.com tomorrow you check your email for the link with instruction okay that's the only way you can get on the live my time is up guys i love you girls so much this was a good pop-up show so we need your feedback let us know what we can do to improve our 25 day skincare challenge show because you know we're going to do it another time so let us know tell us if you're liking the show don't forget to thumbs the video up if you didn't give us a thumbs up that's all we ask you to do and also uh remember to refresh the part yes i definitely will cynthia and also come tomorrow night with your oil or your moisturizer and we're all going to spend the evening massaging the face make sure to follow your printout you are ex you're you're cleansing your face twice per day you're using your facial toner you're using in your exfoliate you're scrubbing your face the day on the printout and you're also going to take care of your eyes and you're doing that and you're also um doing your facial mask just follow the printout and you're good to go come tomorrow for massaging for those of you who do not know how to massage we're gonna massage how many of you watching now want to be on the live tomorrow if you're watching you want to be on the live you can all you need is a link and exactly what you're watching us on now so you can show your face be good to yourself love yourself if you have not steamed before don't do if you're not already in bed go and steam put some water on the stove and steam your face tonight pat dry it and apply a toner or splash some cold water and you're good to go don't let the night pass without doing something love you guys and i can't wait to see you tomorrow go on what we post two video on the channel page today guys two videos one for your eyes and i post eye treatment eye remedies because some of you don't have so go and watch those two videos that you missed this morning and just support the channel by watching at least half of the video and giving the video a thumbs up and also comment tt and taran good night good night jason good night jill good night all of you and come back tomorrow and we'll have another fun night and something special because it's Friday. We won't say what it is. You will know when you join us tomorrow. Have a good night.